What's up and welcome back to Solar Smash, the mobile game that's out of this world. This is why no one asked me for promos. Guess who's back? Back again. Hey, uh, it's me, Posty, the person that plays games wrong all the time, all day long. In the last episode on Solar Smash, uh, we did a lot of crazy things, okay? And you guys, understandably, wanted answers. How did you do this? How did you make all the planets flat? How did you make overpowered lasers? You're a scammer. Somebody said that, I'm a scammer. Bruh. I actually kind of like that. It means I've arrived. Never scammed anyone. I should scam people. Thanks for the idea. I've got some new things to show you in this episode. We can now change the size of Jupiter and Saturn. We can change the color of the laser to literally any color we want. It's got RGB properties, so do with that what you will. We can change how many people are dead. We can change how many people the planet has. And we can mess with the camera coordinates. So we can literally fly to the sun if we want to. And we do. Finally, we can change the speed. You see these little settings up here. You got your pause, you got your fast forward. We can make the speed off the charts. And we're going to. Before we begin, just want to say, hey, you guys, we're, ne we're nearly there. Let's see where we're at. We're nearly at a thousand likes. I don't believe it. For this video, just match it. Thousand likes and uh, subscribe this time. Some of you subscribed. One of my most subscribed to videos, actually. So you guys love your mobile gaming. And it seems like you like hacking it, too. And that's my specialty. Welcome. Let's go. No kitty. Now, here we go. Enough talking. Did you subscribe? I'm looking at you. Okay, now, here we go. First, we'll check out the speed. I got the need, the need to go faster. So, the normal speed that you start out with is one. If you want to search for it yourself, it's a float, no. Yes, yes, it's a float value of one in Cheat Engine. Now, you want to speed it up? That's a value of five. Now, Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make the value something stupid. Let's go, well, let's start slow. Let's go 20. Okay, spinning a little faster. Getting a little nosh, gonna vom. So there we go. Now let's say we wanna pump it up to, oh, 35. Boom, going faster still. That is some serious rotation can't even keep up. All right, now let's go something ridiculous. This might crash the game. We'll go 100. Oh God, lagging out. Okay, all right, all right, that was a terrible idea. Let's go back down to 50. All right, does 50 okay? So 50. Now you don't, you probably don't wanna play like this or maybe you do. Oh, incidentally, when we pause it, that drops the value to 0 0.000999999947. You're welcome. Now, as I found in my work with Breath of the Wild in Stopping Time, if you set it to zero, it crashes the game. Same as it does here. So the developers just set it to a super low number that it's imperceivable. What have I done? Now, on to different stuff. Let's say you want to mess with the people. All right, let's say we've got 666 people left, and we've also murdered the same. Now, as some of you know, this is actually a tough achievement to unlock. So, but now, look how easy. Um, wait a minute. Oh, maybe I already got that achievement. Now this is actually a super easy achievement to unlock because we don't play fair. What is my hair? I, I look like Conan O'Brien, which is all right by me. Moving on, the planet size modifier. We'll head over to Jupiter. Let's zoom out just a smidge lit. There we are then. Okay, so we can modify the dimensions of it individually. Or so let's change the width to let's say three. What is this? We have now have an egg shaped planet. There we are. It looks like huevos. Now let's go, let's say five on height. Now that is very strange. It's basically the same, but smack it up, flip it. Now, let's say, let's move the depth to, oh, I don't know, 10. Jesus. 
It's got to repeat the pattern. That's how... This is how bizarre this is now. This is unbelievable. Looks like a, a foot long. There we go. Or a nice skipping rock, guys. Maybe. Maybe it isn't. Okay. So now we can go over to Saturn. Maybe Saturn wants to be a little baby planet. Oh, look, Saturn, little baby. So cute. Or maybe we go six all across. Now, we got we got a problem because the asteroid belt is no longer visible. So that's weird and maybe not that useful, but interesting. And that's my point. In my last video, I talked about a planet that had a strange texture that I didn't really know what it was. And shortly after I posted the video, I figured it out. I'm gonna go back to Earth. Ooh, that's neat. Let me show you what I was talking about. And the answer is, this is actually the snowman. This is all what forms the carrot and the buttons. So, mystery solved. Also, a few of you figured that out in the comments. Name only one person. Good job. So, since my last video, uh, we've got some new, uh, new advancements. New things we can do. We can make donuts now. Tasty, Earth-like donuts. But, sometimes, you want a different donut. Now that is a frosted, tasty donut. That's something I would eat, actually. You see, I shouldn't play this game when I'm hungry, guys. I said it last time, and I'll say it again. I don't learn. How about, oh, oh, orange spicy uh, donut with a little bit of frosting in the middle. What was that voice? My voice cracked. They're so awesome. Maybe you want a tasty moon donut. Moon donuts are actually hard to find. You don't really see them in bakeries. So if you own a bakery, Kick me down some donut dough. Kick me down some dough. Guys, come on. Now sometimes you want a tasty moon donut. But if you're like me, you like jelly filled. Jelly filled is the best donut. Jelly donuts are the only donuts they should make. But do they listen to me? No. I always buy a jelly donut. And what do they run out of every time? A jip. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make my own jelly donut. Steady, wait for it. Jelly donut, guys. That's kind of like all, like some kind of a plasma donut situation, but still, I would eat that. Next, maybe you're a robot and jelly's not your thing, but you know what is your thing? Machine donut, tasty, crunchy, full of nutrients and minerals. Moving on. Oh, I still got it in pause mode. Oh, that's why. Now here's something interesting. We can now mess with the camera coordinates. All right, so le now let's say we want to zoom. Okay, we're moving further from the Earth. So now things rotate pretty much on the same axis, but they're just further away. Let's go minus 50. So that puts us further away from the planet. But how far can we go? We can now fly straight to the sun. That was the first thing I did when I, when I figured out we can manipulate uh, so here we go, headed to the sun. It's gonna get warm, guys. Bundle up. No, opposite of that. Bundle down. There we go, getting closer to the sun. All right, how much, where to go? Steady, sun. All right, we're so close. The camera gets pretty squirrely the closer you go. Ah, there we go. The sun, guys. There we go, we're in the sun in all its blazing, blazedness. So that's messing with the camera. Now, the cool thing. Here we go. Changing laser color. Something's on my face. Changing, what is this? Changing laser colors. Here we go. Now, you saw that we can overpower weapons. We can create more weapons, uh, you know, larger quantities. But now we can also change the color. Here's an example. Basically, you can enter almost anything you want. The worst that it's gonna do is nothing. And actually, it'll just seem like you're blowing up the planet with your cursor or your finger and it won't show any lights at all but here we go we just got a straight up black laser now if that doesn't scare you i don't know what will it's black is just about the most intense and imagine you can't you won't even see this coming if you're in space all right next color this one i call watermelon bubblicious that's what it reminds me of by the way so this one i'm letting go and it's still misbehaving Look, no, nothing, touching, still crazy. But that does enable one interesting thing. Now we can finally see where the laser's coming from. Here we go. 
This allows you to see the end of the laser. So that's pretty interesting. I wonder if we can fight some ghosts with this. Is that gonna stick? Oh, that's interesting. Let's see if we can battle a ghost. Here we go. Chop up the ghost. All right, that doesn't work. All right, next. Here we got this, this nice light blue color. Actually, I guess it's more purple. Here we have like a sweet lime green laser. Pretty cool. Now, like I said in the intro, each of these lasers have RGB properties, which means you can completely control how much red, how much green, how much blue. So for example, if you wanted to change both green and blue to zero and leave, let's say red at 99, you get a completely red laser. Now let's say we'll go zero on red and we'll make it full green. Now, let's say you want to add in, uh, you want to go zero on green, you want no green, but on red and green, you want equal parts. Boom, pink, this is what you get. So you can edit the values to anything and pretty much come up with whatever you want. Let's say you want a completely white laser. Well, that's interesting. Oh, that's a cool one. Oh, nice. Guys, these are beautiful. These are beautiful lasers. Let's say you just want a solid white laser. White, I think, is like the hottest color. It's an intense. Even better when you turn up the power. So let's turn up the power to say 99. And it's just ridiculous. All right, guys, we learned a lot here today. We got some new things on the way. When we get this to a thousand likes, it's yours. It's all yours. It was always yours. You just have to help yourself get it. So remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, I love you guys. You guys are the best. And uh, comment down below. What would you like to see me hack next? Is there something I should be hacking that I'm overlooking? That's probably true. Help me help you and help you help me help each other. Symbiotic relationship is what they call it. If I was a science bitch. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.